Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We've got a Made in Japan for you this day. We're actually taking out a Toho game. This has been out and available for a while across the world, and uh, I haven't got to play it. I've, in fact, never played a game of its ilk. It is, well, I have played a bullet hell shooter, but this is Toho. This is the one, do you know whenever you hear about bullet hell games, this is the series that a lot of people talk about whenever they refer to them. It's Toho. It started off as a fan game series, like on an old PC hardware, then switched to Windows after a while. And there's like 16, 15, 16 games in the series, like on the main line of it. And then on top of that, you've just got a button of fan games based off of all the characters. Uh, my appreciation of it or my knowledge of it was came from one particular boss from one of the games. Uh, I think it was a like Gendo Ronso or something was actually the name, but it was um, the UN Owen was her music, which then well, because people were referring to it at the time as like she like a a black piano track because it was like so elaborate and over the top. And um, I used to watch videos of people like playing covers of it and versions of it and stuff. So like I, I didn't really know much about Toho at all. Um, I had to actually do a little bit of look up and research before I actually just jumped in here to give this a try. But I really am looking forward to giving a try to this game because I've never never played one one of the games in this series. So I'm curious, curious like it's are they interactable or can you get into them easily enough? I don't think the games are actually meant to be that difficult uh, to start off with. They just get very difficult. Oh damn, we got enemy in enemy intros. Yes, I like this. I approve. Mmm. Lewis Land Project VR? Oh, is this a VR game? No, there's no way this is VR. Oh, oh. I'm sure there must be some version. Bomberman? What are you doing here, Dino Blaster? So do I. Obviously, I'm, I, I, I can let these guys talk, but I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm going to let this play out. I'm going to just talk over it and see if I can actually dub in a few lines. Definitely he's not actually saying anything right now, all I have to do is just hum along. So what do you actually think this ball is? Do you think there's chocolate inside of it? Or just pure concentrated evil? It seems to be glowing and letting off a smell. I think this egg's gone bad. That's okay again. Uh oh. She's losing her shit! <laughs> uh. Cory wa? Oi! Don't grab at it! Look at the Show a little bit of respect! <laughs> Keep away from my egg! It's my breakfast! No, 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 my egg! Don't touch my egg! Look, you broke it! Yolk everywhere! The fact that the sound it makes whenever it bounces looks sounds more like a rubber ball. Oh no! The power is coming out! So essentially, I assume that, that what they refer to is like incidents happen where something gets released and unlocked, and they essentially maidens and people have to actually like recover it or bring it back or self-contain it again. So this must be the inciting incident in this particular one, or a uh, inciting incident from one of the games that's being remade and reshown in this because this is the title being reloaded. Uh oh. Yep. It's been a release on. Someone's gotten loose. It's all going wrong. We are screwed. It's all wrong. All right. So here comes the bullet hell. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. There's text. So much text. Uh, 
and we are swimming and flying. Okay, so I obviously have no idea what's going on here. Oh no! Are you serious? Ah, oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. And I'm dead. This is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Uh, I must have been completely wrong about this. Okay. Obviously, there's something else to do. Oh, right. it's quite, and that's what it is. TOD reloaded. So, obviously, it's something, a spin-off game to the original series, so not the bold hell games that I was hoping for. That is super disappointing. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hell? Ho? <laughs> Ho? No idea what's going on in this in any way, shape, or form. Right, so you land in Dungeon 1 to start all over again. So, but the thing, it feels like this is actually turn based in the same vein as, like, say, Crypt of the Necrodancer or, I don't know, um, God, even God War was kind of like this. It's a game type and a game style that I'm not as, I'm not enamored with in any way, shape, or form. I just, I don't need to play these. Um, I did play a game of this that I actually did enjoy because of the charm kind of took me in, and it was actually because I was watching it on, uh, or if I was playing it on a PC, and I kind of like accepted actually, Gaming types being a little bit more um, out of my purview normally, and that was Receteer, essentially a item shop simulator where you run a shop in town that sells equipment to adventurers. But to be able to stock your shop, you have to go into the dungeon to gather all the stuff that you're going to use, and you actually don't attack anything. You you rent a mercenary to go in with you and fight for you. So it's it was a pretty fun game. Uh, enjoyed the hell out of it. But this game type doesn't, it doesn't quite excite me. Alright, so you can go diagonal. It's just everything moves in squares otherwise. Okay. Okay, so, um, whoa. So that only works for corridors? Okay. So, are, so even the idea of the corridors and the, what you have to go into doesn't really matter because you're just going to skip through them. Hello, CF Point Girl. Oh. There you go. That's how you fight combat. You just punch things in the face in timing with the turns that they take. Yeah, range. Okay. Here we go again. Uh. Right, so block them into a hallway so that it's a lot easier to fight them. Makes sense. So lead them, so essentially track and then trail them into a hallway behind you. I get ya. I get ya! Alright, so obviously it wants me to change equipment probably at this point, but I'm not going to bother. It's going to continue on. So, yeah, this game doesn't enamor me. Whoa, fuck! Fucking hell! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm getting my ass beat! Uh, and I survived. <laughs> I thought you wasn't going to let me get killed. 
But I think I was actually going to make a proof point to say that, yeah, you need to actually use health items and whatever else. That's grand. I... I'm going to let myself... I'm not even going to grab health to actually use it. Oh, are you serious? I forced me to use it because I had my pockets full? You piece of shit. <laughs> oh, trying to prolong your demo, aren't I, aren't you? Huh? 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 Ah, poisoned. So it was a trap. All right, so I just walked over it again. Say lovey. That's what it tells you. Oh, all right. Three P. I've got all the P's. Got nine P. Ah, oh, nice man. I can spend all those P's, I'm sure, somewhere. L2 can use my P's. Right. All right, there we go. And that cost me how many peas? Five peas. Great. That's all my peas gone. Used all my peas just to do one move. Okay. So, wait, hang on a second. Oh, shit. Uh, that used them all. So, is that the one I want? Ah, right! And I just lead them into the corridor. Hey, bitch. <laughs> you got one hit on me. Damn you. So, what am I meant to do now? Oh, yeah. Go diagonal. Haha. <laughs> Oh, shit! Ow. So, um... I can understand, it's actually doing a pretty decent job of teaching me. So that needs 10, so I need to use this. And... Go that way. And then that gives me a chance to get that one out of the way. And then I'm done to the last one. Ha ha! We're just going hand to hand! Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm getting the hang of this game, even though I don't really want to be playing it. You can see what the gameplay is like. It doesn't really iterate change. It just, it works like in an almost puzzly kind of way. I'm sure I'm probably going to run into a boss here or something. Or another girl or another character or another maiden to be saved. Um, my disappointment in this not being a bullet hell shooter is... Uh, it, it's conditioned down with the fact that like I've played a game like this before... I'm sure this will get a translated release at some point, but I don't think it's going to be a high priority. Um, but I'm, I've seen this logo, I've seen this game on pre-orders, but I didn't know it was this kind of game. I thought it was literally a Toho bullet hell shooter kind of like um, anthology game, and this isn't it. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, four or five. No, don't care. I don't care. Get the fuck off my screen, game. Oh, God. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I'm gone. I'm done. What? Next floor? What? It's. It doesn't let me do anything other than go back to the... That is ass balls. Yeah. <laughs> You just get removed from the screen, sadly, game. Um, so yeah, this was what I thought to be a Toho Boltel game, wasn't it? Actually, it is more like Reseteer or um, a couple of other games I can think of that I actually played like this. Um, oh god, there's so many games that I actually play with this old game style. Like essentially, the Crypto Necrodancer really comes to mind. So does a game I played a long time ago. Um, Oh, it was one of the games that actually was available on PS Plus a while back. If you actually look at the early PS freebies or my early 15 minutes series, there was a game that was very similar to us where you make a move and all your attacks are actually based on uh, turns and pushes and you kind of, it's all about positioning more than anything else so you don't get wild by multiple enemies. This game does not appeal to me. 
Uh, cutesy Moe characters are adorable, but this is not awesome. It's I would find it particularly dull, but um, to each their own, to each their own taste. I'm sure there's actually a definite market for this particular game style that love the characters and love the history of the series. So uh, yeah, guys, if you want you want to reek me over the coals for actually not knowing what the hell I got into there, then feel free to say so in the comments underneath. Hit the like button, hit the dislike button, just engage yourselves with the video. And of course, if you enjoyed the series and you want to see more, you want to hear more about these games and you want to hear whether or not it's even worthwhile looking into them, then hit the subscribe button up there at the top. The subscribe button pretty much gives you the ability to uh, see all the notifications, everything comes out. If you hit the little bell next to it on YouTube, it'll actually remind you every time I put up a video, which isn't too often. I don't spam them. I just throw out one maybe, one or two maybe a day uh, at most. So like normally, the nor I've been sending a lot of videos recently. I've been pushing the series and trying to push through a lot of back catalog stuff because I want to be working on other things really soon. But yeah, there's uh, plenty of videos for you to see here on the channel. Now, if you don't want to find me just on this particular source, or you've caught me on a stream, or you've seen this being passed on by somebody else, you have no idea who I am, or even where this video was meant to be originally, you can just search for me. That's my name, Past Teacher of Skin. Just throw it into Google. You'll find me. It's not that hard to find me. I'm not hiding anywhere. There's plenty of results. You just type it in. You, like, even the icons here show all, a lot of the places that I'm actually on. I highly recommend checking out Vidme if you have never looked at it as a video platform. It's uh, one of the smaller ones. It's not really picking up too fast at the moment, but it's actually got a lot of creators who are actually duplicating their stuff across on two multiple places. So if you're finding difficulty finding things or new stuff to look at on YouTube and you find yourself getting into the same pits and holes, try Vidme because it's, an, it's a, a new alternative. And of course, you can always get me on all the streaming places as well to watch these as long form without me actually breaking them up into videos. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to actually see you again really soon. If you actually want to see anything else here on the channel and you're watching this on YouTube, there's actually a box that just appeared up there and on there and there, three of them. And one of them will be a Made in Japan series that actually talks about games like this. Uh, well, not this particular type, but games from Japan. And over the far side is a video that I recommend. And then down here is a video that the YouTube recommends for you specifically, for you, for you as an audience. It's a video based on the YouTube analytics and whatever else. So it'll find someone on my channel that you should watch and you might actually enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.